It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Hop Nation Brewing Company's The Dawn. Double New England IPA coming in at 9% ABV. What a lovely looking can. It's 375 milliliter. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass then. We're going rigorous. We're going to go for a rigorous pour here on the channel. Nine percent ABV. We want, we want to create a head, so we've got a two finger white head on the beer. Good levels of carbonation, hazy as you like. Double New England IPA. That's a new style for me. It really is. You get neepers. See neepers everywhere, but double neepers. I've only had them from Australia. I've had two now, and they've been terrific. This being the second, not tasted it yet. Is it going to be terrific? Judging by the nose. It's half a foot away. Already got me salivating. But at this stage of the beer review, I would like to thank a massively, massively, big, big, massive thank you to Mick. Thank you very much to Mick for sending me the beer. I've been drinking for 18 months beers that have been sent over by Mick from Australia. Uh, and without without Mick's generosity, without Mick's support for the channel, we wouldn't be getting these stonking, stonking beers from Australia. These fresh, super fresh. They're only six weeks old. A month, month to six weeks. Uh, we got we had a little bit of a problem. These beers went to New Zealand first, then they hit customs in the UK, and then they finally made it to to my house. Uh, if it didn't hit these problems, we, we would have had these beers three weeks ago, believe it or not. But never mind, it is halfway around the world. It is a logistical problem that Mick and myself have got over. And we're really pleased with the end result to have these wonderful beers in our hands. So thank you very much for the support, Mick. Let's get on with this beer review. We got a one finger white head, good levels of carbonation, hazy as you like, as I mentioned. Aroma on this straw coloured beer. <laughs> Half a foot away was terrific. Getting my nose in there is stonking. Oh, blimey. Grapefruit, orange peel, fleshy blood orange. Oh. Mango. Passion fruit, touch of lime. Oh, ho, ho. gotta dive in. Cheers, everybody. <clears throat> oh, gotta put that down. Stone the crows. Stone the Crows, what a terrific, terrific beer. Massive, massive, bold, Nipa flavours just flying at me. First of all though, I want to give a little mention to the malt. The malt is slightly biscuity and bready and nutty, but then it's a question of split second, boom! There's all your hops. There's all your hops right at you, in your face. It's like... Pfft. Having a pineapple smashed against your forehead and you it's it's in your eyes, it's in your mouth, it's everywhere, it's in your ears. Oh. Same again with a couple of grapefruits. You've got a pink grapefruit, yellow grapefruit, psh, smash them against your face, fleshy blood orange, mango, passion fruit. Unreal, unreal flavours, really, really top end, top end stuff. And then What's remarkable about this beer, and it's the real remarkable sensation for this beer, because it's not really a sensation, is that what used to happen years ago when you used to have all of that flavour, you'd be bombarded with a massive 
smashing bitterness that just roared over your palate. It doesn't happen. You're kind of just standing here thinking, yeah, there's a touch of bitterness. I get a touch of alcohol for that 9% ABV. It's most certainly there. You feel it rolling down your neck, warming up the pit of your stomach. But that bitterness is not really there. And that's because it's a New England IPA. All of them flavours, all of them bursting juicy flavours that are coming from the hops are flavours from the hops. It's not... It's like boiling a tea bag. If you boil the tea bag to death, you would have a really kind of stringent cup of tea, wouldn't you? What they do is that they wait for the liquor to cool down and then, or oh, if you're not really technical with brewing, the liquor is the water. When they, when they let that liquor cool down, they go in the, into the fermenter, then they start banging them hops in. And then it's, you're, not, you're not drawing the bitterness from the hops, you're just drawing flavour. I've only had one or two tastes. I need to get back in, don't I? Let's get back in. Oh, it's unreal. Do you know if I if I drank a few pints of that, see the you know the little wobbly bits on a what's that a turkey or a pheasant or something I don't know chicken pheasant turkey something like that. See the little green wobbly bit there and the the green hair. I reckon if I drank four cans of that, I'd have bright green hair and a big green wobbly bit under my chin. I'm going to rate this beer, it's absolutely terrific. What do the brewers say? Hop Nation Brewing Company. Do they list the hops? Here we go. Uh, the dawn of a new day. This New England IPA is hazy, juicy and packed full of flavour, showcasing the vibrancy of hops including Citra, Mosaic and Galaxy. Of course, Galaxy is, a, is an Australian hop, they're going to use Galaxy. Really pleased with that. Citra, Mosaic, generally American hops. But of course, Galaxy's lovely. So are the American hops. Combine them into one flavour. Boom! You've got a terrific beer. While delivering a textural mouthfeel. Cheers, Sam and Dunk. Whoever Sam and Dunk are. Cheers to you guys. You've just produced an amazing beer. I'm going to rate it. Thank you very much to Mick for sending yet again. Thank you very much. What a terrific supporter of the channel. Rating right the beer. I like it. I really like it. I like that enough. There's nothing. Do you know what? I can't fault. When I, when I can't pick any faults. And I'm only left with a smile on my face. The only. The, the last thing that I can possibly do is. 10 out of 10. Stone the crows. 10 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom and cheers.